Welcome to Chris Parkin Shooting Sports unboxing day today, uh, just before Christmas, so let's see what's arrived for Christmas. Now this one has been sent to me by Sportsman Gun Centre and I will go through the usual dissection process on screen because that way you get to sort of experience a little bit of my excitement with it. Now to kind of know what these are, I need to just remember some of the details about them they're both, there's two guns in here, they are both CZ457s. Now one, as you'll know, I've done most of the CZ457s, I've done the, the Royal, the Synthetic, I've done the Carbon Fibre, I've done the um, LRP quite significantly. Um, but in here we have two of the other choices, one of which is the chassis MDT stock version and the other one is one I have actually shot actually, I shot this in, in Czech Republic a long time ago now, uh, it's the MDT, sorry not the MDT, it's the, um, the AT1 which is the laminate stock version, so they've sent me some more targets, excellent, I can do lots more shooting then, um, just slide these out carefully, it's a bit lucky dip which one we'll get first, so I'll do another unboxing on whichever one comes out second. This one is, this is the MDT chassis rifle. So, lucky you guys. Let's just pop this down on the back. So, here we go. I think this is the one that everybody is going to find one of the big exciting factors at the moment. Now, I have handled one of these because I went to Ewa in March and they had one there, but uh, here we go. So let's just pop that out of the way. I love unboxing videos because they kind of capture my initial joy, my immediate joy when I first see them. Um, the last time I did one of these, somebody somebody criticised me on the way I opened the box. By the way, so there is um, the rifle itself is is sort of fastened to the backboard with with a film, which I am now going to cut. Uh, they said I was doing it wrong, but maybe they work for somebody who specialises in packaging. Uh, but I'm going to undo this here. Talk amongst yourselves while I'm just doing this. But, you know, the realities of a live unboxing are these. I haven't yet slice myself open on a live unboxing video, but I do need to sharpen that knife. Right, let's just pop that there. That looks like the bolt. I don't think we need the box for much just at a second. There's nothing on the back of that. Here we've got instruction book. Let's just get rid of the box first. So we're back now. Right, what we got? We've got the instruction manual, which is sort of folded together with um, what's that? That's some kind of certificate, guarantee certificate there. This is the instruction manual, um, lots of exploded diagrams. I won't, you know, go through all of this now. There'll be a full review on this rifle in a few weeks' time. Um, but we'll get to that when we do that. So, if you don't know much about the CZ457, look on my channel, Chris Barkin Shooting Sports, and you will find a lot of video footage using the LRP and the synthetic, etc, etc. So that's got a bolt very similar to the synthetic, sorry, very similar to the, ugh, that's got a bolt very similar to the LRP because it's got this kind of golf ball sized rubber knob there put over the actual internal steel knob. So it's the same bolt essentially as all the others, it's just got that extra large bolt knob on the end there. You get an Allen key there, that will be for uh, setup, etc. So we'll have a look in a moment. But the bit you're all excited to see is, and I'm excited to see it as well actually, the downside is I will have to give this back at some point, which is always the slight anti-joy of it being like a Christmas present, but there we go. So that is it, that is the CZ457 LRP. I've said it again, it's not the LRP, it's the MDT, all these three letter acronyms, TLAs, 
So, what have we got start to finish? We've got a heavy barrel, and that'll be a, probably a half inch 28 thread on the end, so you can add a moderator. It comes with a brake, I've got a moderator on mine. You can use the barrel, if you want to use the brake, you can do. It's a fluted barrel, I'll give you all the dimensions of this in the full review, and that is fully floating off the MDT chassis. This is the LSS RF chassis, it takes standard CZ magazine, so you can have those in five round or ten round. You've got lots of M-lock type rail here, so you can add all the accessories you want. It has got a stud with it, which will allow you to add a bipod or a sling to it. And of course, you can add whatever you want anywhere else. There's a Picatinny rail on top. If the LRP is anything to go by, this will be an inclined Picatinny rail, probably 25 MOA. But we'll shall see in the instruction. I know it says on the top here, 25 MOA. You can perhaps see that there. Other factors to look at. It's got AR15 type pistol grip. This has got the usual CZ rimfire trigger, which is single stage, beautifully crisp, very nice bolt system. There's a safety catch on the side there. Doesn't lock the bolt, the safety catch, not that it particularly matters. And there's a bolt release button on the left side here. So that'll take the bolt back out. AR15 type buffer tube, and then we've obviously got AR15 type stock, which goes into the aluminium chassis at the front. This would appear to be aluminium itself, and it's got an adjustable cheek piece. So that Allen key that was in the box, I suspect if I just undo those there, that will just lift up. Whether it's um, laterally adjustable or not, will be to see, but it, uh, we shall see all about that. Length of pull appears to be adjustable. There's a spacer system here. It's also got a bag rider, firm recoil pad, that lock into your, into your shoulder, and there's a butt hook there. So when that rifle is in position, it will fit quite nicely like that. I have to say, there's quite square edges on that, although they are chamfered, it's, it's a sort of square overall profile, so it doesn't quite fit as comfortably as some into the web of your hand, but I suspect this is designed more for the PRS type rimfire shooting, so we shall see. But I'll put some ammunition through it. I've got match ammunition from SK, from RWS, so I'll be using those. I might do some high velocity stuff, but I'll probably stick with subsonic sort of standard 1050, 1070 feet per second match ammo. That does tend to work extremely nicely out to extended distances. I haven't got an optic. Well, an optic hasn't been sent directly with this, which kind of means I'm going to choose which optic I'm going to put on it. I, about a few weeks ago, I actually got one of the Zeiss long range precision optics and the 34 mm tube delivered. So I'm going to put that on this rifle. I'll be fitting a bipod to it. Do you know what? I might leave the muzzle brake on for this one and just shoot it with the muzzle brake on, depending on where I go. I have actually got a trip to a quite a nice range booked tomorrow with a few friends of mine. So we shall see about that. But if you want to see the full review, please like, subscribe, comment, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you can keep track of my weekly uploads. And please go to the end of the video, and there's a link on the end of the video for the 2023 British Shooting Show. And if you click on that link, it'll take you away and buy tickets. And the tickets for next year's show also include car parking. It will be great if we can see you there. I'll be there all three days of the show, probably on the Sportsman Gun Centre stand. So, if I can catch my breath for one second, thank you for watching. Bye for now.